Hey guys, so after so many issues and so many bugs, Apple has decided to release the next iOS update. Today, Apple published iOS 13.5 Public Beta 2. This is not the update version we expected, but this is definitely the update that we needed. At the moment, I'm facing quite a number of issues with the current iOS version. I'm running iOS 13.4.5 public beta, and currently my device temperature is unstable. It's fluctuating, sometimes it heats up. And also I noticed recently that my camera app isn't working. So if I open my camera, you can see that you know i get a blackout screen and even if i go to the selfie mode it blacks out i tried closing the camera app and let's just close all the applications and open it again it comes up it comes back as a black screen as you can see and whether you go into the selfie mode or back camera it's all the same so this is another bug on top of the video that I made a few days ago about some of the issues affecting this current iOS 13.4.5, the public beta. And also it does not stop there. I noticed that my YouTube isn't actually working. So if I open YouTube and then go to like a specific video and play any video on YouTube, let's say this one, um, it blacks out sometimes, but this time around it worked let me look for another video and see if it works or not but yeah it goes and comes back but this time around it seems to be working but my camera app won't work no matter what i do so i am hoping that this update will provide a solution to this issue and as you can see for me this update comes in at about let's see how big it is it's about 212.4 megabytes so if you're updating your device it should be around the same size and not more than 300 megabytes irregardless of the device you are updating today and whether you also see this update today or not that depends on your country and region some countries do tend to get this update before others so keep that in mind and then if we look at the current version that i have with ios 13.4.5 before the update if we go into general and then go to about, we can see that the software version that I have here on 13.4.5 public beta is 17F5044D. And this has been one of the worst versions I've ever tested. It's very unstable and I just don't like this version. And the firmware that comes with this that I had on this uh, version is 3.05.0. 04. So let's go ahead and update this phone. This is the iPhone X, by the way, and this is an Under Armour casing. And so let's go ahead and update and see what if it resolves many of the issues that I've been facing and also see what are some of the new features that came with this update. It's a small size and it shouldn't take long to download. It took about eight seconds to download. And let's see how the installation process goes. I will let you know how long it takes. And yeah, let's quickly get into it after the update. So yep, our device has been updated now. We now have iOS 13.5 and this is public beta 2. So let's quickly see what has changed here. If we go into the settings, and then go to general and then go to about we can see that the software version that we have here now is 17F5054H now usually the lowest alphabetical letter represents the highest stability and in that case it's always a and with the previous version with ios 13.4.5 public beta 1 we had a d at the end but this time around we have an h at the end so i'm not sure if this is going to mean less stability and less performance apple has been doing strange things lately and so with time we'll be able to tell if this is a worse version than what we had here or a better version than what we had here before. 
and then also if we go into the modem firmware we can see that the modem firmware that we have here at the moment is 3.05.00 so that is the same modem firmware that we had with the previous ios 13.4.5 public beta so it remains the same and what that means is that if you're having issues that had to do with your cell your wi-fi or your bluetooth those issues will remain the same the modem firmware hasn't been updated and also in the description of this update apple didn't say much about what has changed but what we do know for sure is that along with this update there have been some other updates and those are tvos 13.4.5 beta 3 watch os 6.2.5 beta 3 Mac OS 10.15.5 beta 3. So if you have those devices, those beta versions are now available to developers. So after research and investigation, since Apple didn't tell us much about this update, I noticed that we actually don't have quite a number of new things. And I noticed about two new updates or features that came with this update. So if we go into the settings and then go to privacy, which is right there and then go to health we can see that we now have a section that says COVID-19 exposure notification and by default this section is turned on as you can see and it basically says that iPhone is using Bluetooth to securely share your random IDs with nearby devices and collect their IDs. This enables an app to notify you if you have been exposed to COVID-19 Random IDs are deleted after 14 days. And then this small section on the bottom says that you receive notifications from applications that you have approved. Now, the second thing that I noticed that changed with this update is that basically when you lock your device like this, and then you try unlocking it wearing a mask, it obviously doesn't work and this time around it worked because i don't have a mask but if you try to unlock it wearing a mask it usually doesn't work and it gives you a passcode prompt and instead of now having to go all the way to cancel here on the bottom and then swipe up again you can just quickly um, swipe up multiple times and this will help you avoid the hassle of having to you know enter your passcode manually or having to either have to go all the way to the bottom of the screen to cancel so that has made unlocking faster as you can just pull your mask down and just swipe up again instead of having to press cancel now in terms of battery health and performance if we go to my battery section we can see that my battery health is still at 88 so my maximum capacity for the battery hasn't changed and it has remained the same and then with regards to daily usage still a bit too early to tell as i have been using it for less than two hours and also performance i can't really say much we are yet to tell if it's worse or slightly better than the previous beta version that i had here i very much doubt that it's going to be better but stick around and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get the follow-up video where i'll cover more with regards to performance and battery issues and also any new bugs that come with uh, this update so make sure you subscribe for that a factor that i know will affect performance if it's still existing is the temperature of the device previously the device was heating up so much and that affected performance and also it affected battery performance also and then with this update we are yet to see if that affects performance greatly or not so if i get to test it out more and use it more on the daily i'll be able to tell you more on that now in terms of bugs some of the bugs that are still existing we know that the mail app hasn't been improved yet I have 18 emails and if I was to go into my inbox, I would find way less than 18 emails. I think before I updated, I had like 16 emails, but now I have 18 emails and I know I read most of my emails. So that number is a false number. So that goes to imply that the mail app issues haven't yet been resolved. At this point in time, it seems like Apple is failing its own mail app. I don't know what's going on or what Apple is 
doing with the mail app so if you do know of another better and more stable mail application in the meantime you can switch to it and when apple resolves most of the issues that they are having with their own mail app you can then switch back to the default iphone mail app as it's a bit more secure but in the meantime it's so unstable and it just irritates so much but anyways that's about it for me when it comes to ios 13.5 public beta 2 if you enjoyed the video leave a like and also do comment and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below stay tuned for the follow-up video that's going to be coming after a few days and thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't yet done so and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace